Hey, this is 77, and today I'm going to show you how you can get 2000's Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed working on a modern Windows 10 PC. If you're watching this and you don't own a copy of the game on PC, well unfortunately the game is unavailable on any online digital distribution sites like Steam or Origin. Because of that, you'll need to find an original physical copy of the game. But if you have, then this is how you can get it working. Put the disk in your drive and run the auto run as usual. Click install once the menu appears. After the setup wizard shows up, click next and the setup type menu will pop up. Make sure to select custom so that every component of the game will be installed. After that you just wait for the installation to finish. Once it's done, the installation wizard for the electronic arts updater will show up. Just click cancel and exit setup. Once it's gone, click ok on the prompt. Make sure to create a shortcut so you can quickly launch the game as well as be able to easily access the game's files. Then just click OK on the final prompt. So now the game has installed. We now have to download some fixes in order to get the game running because in its current state the game is unplayable. Everything I mention will be linked in the description. Firstly, we have to download the Porsche Unleashed Complete Patch by Turngate. This updates the game to the latest version as well as fixes a whole bunch of issues and even adds in all the official add-on cars. Simply follow the prompts to download the 7-zip file. To open a 7-zip file, you'll need to use a program like 7-zip or WinRAR. I'll have links to both of these programs if you don't happen to have either of them installed on your computer. For this tutorial, I'll be using 7-zip. Open the file and highlight everything you see. Right click on the Porsche Unleashed shortcut on your desktop and select Open File Location. This will take you to where the game is installed. Now drag and drop all the files you highlighted in the 7-zip file into the Porsche Unleashed folder. A password prompt will show up. Simply type in the word Porsche in lower case. Wait for all the files to copy over and allow Windows to replace any files if necessary. Next we'll have to download a program called Nglide. Nglide is a program that basically tricks old games into thinking your computer's graphics card is actually an old 3DFX graphics card from the 90s. This allows games that were released during that era to run nicely on modern systems. It is actually the same program that a lot of the games you purchased from GOG use in order to work on modern systems. Getting this to work is very easy. Just download the program from their site and run it. The installation process is very quick. Now click on the Windows 10 search bar and type in Nglide. The Nglide configurator should appear. Select it. This is where we get to pick all our visual settings. Video backend we can leave as default. For screen resolution select by desktop. This will detect and select your screen's native resolution. When it comes to the aspect ratio option, it is completely up to personal preference. If you set it to entire screen, what happens is that the game's window will be stretched in order to fully fit your screen as the game was designed with old 4x3 screens in mind. While it does look rather nice, it does mess with the proportions of some of the UI elements and car models, but if you don't mind it, feel free to select this option. What the aspect correction setting does is it preserves the game's original 4x3 aspect ratio while still rendering the game at your selected resolution. This will result in a very clear image whilst maintaining the game's original intended appearance. Now the other two options, integer rendering and integer scaling, they're fairly new and I'm not entirely sure as to what they actually do, but if you are curious, feel free to try them out. The rest of the settings you can leave as default and because of that we're now done with this program so feel free to apply your settings and close it. Alright, now if everything went well the game should work now. So double click on your shortcut and the game should launch. Once we're in, make yourself a profile, hop into the options menu and click on graphics. The reason we're here is that if you go and start a race, you'll notice that the heads up display is massive. To fix this, click on the screen size option and select something that's higher than 640x480. For this example, I picked 1024x768 and you can immediately see the difference. So feel free to play around with this option until you find a size that suits you. But there we go, we're done. If you have any issues getting the game to work, refer to the forum post that we got the complete patch from, as it does mention a few things I personally did not need to do in order to get the game working. 
If you're still having trouble, I suggest that you consult the PC Gaming Wiki page for Porsche Unleashed, or ask for help on the Navy Speed subreddit or Navy Speed Discord, as you could get a response much quicker from someone else who might have run into a similar problem in addition to asking in the comment section of this video. Before I close out this video, I want to give a massive thank you to Redbeard Raf on YouTube. After he saw my previous video on Porsche Unleashed where I played the PS1 version because I couldn't get the PC version to work at the time, he sat down and troubleshot with me for hours until we finally got it working. So if this video was helpful to you then make sure to say hi to him on his channel, linked in the description, as this tutorial would not have happened otherwise. But if you also want to see more videos by me then definitely consider subscribing and checking out a series I did on the channel called 25 Years of Need for Speed, where I played every Need for Speed game from 1994 to 2019, including 2000's Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed, even though I played the PS1 version of the game, which honestly isn't as good as this one. But anyway, I hope you're having a very nice day. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.